presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to have a different number of lines on different outputs in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you about Pro Presenter. Funny how that works. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that people have been asking for since Pro Presenter 7 came out, given the ability that you can have any number of displays, although after 8 it gets a little odd. Maybe I'll tell you about that some day in the future. People have been saying, man, this is great. We want four lines on our output going to the screen for people in person, and then for the live stream we'll just do two sets of two. So how do you do that? Well, Credit where credit is due, Brad Zimmerman, who does the official tutorials for Renewed Vision, released a tutorial on how to do that. But I just wanted to clarify a couple of things, and some people prefer my teaching style. Both are the reasons why I'm making this tutorial instead of just going, oh, go watch his. But he does a great job, so if you prefer his style, go ahead and watch his. So... Let's, in the interim, if you don't want to watch his, let's go over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in Pro 7, of course, and let's uh, select Amazing Grace here. And I've got all kinds of craziness going on here, but what I want to do is... I want to make it to where on one screen I have four lines and on the other one I have two. Well, the first thing that should pop into your head is, well, if you're looking at four lines in the interface here, how do you know to switch? How do you know to remember that? Well, that's the first thing that we're going to do is split up the slides so that we have the two sets here in this interface. So uh, let's first uh, right click and go into edit slide. And you'll see that I've already done a little bit of that here where I have these three lines. And let's, uh, just to make this obvious, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a carriage return there so that we can see that we've got the three lines there. And you might start to see exactly what I've done here is I've taken the first two lines and put them in the slide notes area. If you need the slide notes area, make sure that you go down and click slide notes. See, that toggles it off, toggles it back on, so we're good to go there. Now for the next slide, notice I once was lost but now I'm found is on the next slide and what we want is we want to put that in the slide notes area so let's copy that from that second slide and put it here. So let's make sure that, okay, Helvetica New 42 up here, and this is CMG SAN 60, so I'm gonna change that so that's the same. Where are you? There you are. Helvetica New 42, I believe I said. Okay, so that looks the same. So now I need to get rid of it on this slide. And I'm going to duplicate that slide here. So it has the slide notes here. And we're just going to copy and paste this in its place. So, 
having done that, if we go back to show up here, you'll see that we have we have one slide with two lines followed by a second slide with two lines. But the magic comes in when I create the theme for this. So let's go into our theme editor. And you'll see that I've actually already done this. And let me just, I'm going to add another one just so that I can show you what I did. So the first thing I need is I need a text box not to show the regular text, but to not show it. And the reason to do that is because in ProPresenter 7, when you apply a theme, if there's no text box there, it assumes that you still want it. So we have to hide that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on visibility. So this is when to show this text box. So what I'm going to say is all of the following conditions are met. I only need one condition in this situation, but one is all. So that's fine. Choose type. And then I'm going to select slide object and then the text. And I'm going to say when it does not have text, then show it. Kind of an opposite way of thinking about it, but it will work for our purposes. So when there is text in this text box, it won't show it. When there is no text, then it will show the text box, which is perfectly fine because there's no text. We won't see anything. So I need another text box, though. So I'm going to click on text, the big plus up here, then text, rather. And now I'm going to put that down in a, um, actually, I'm going to make this one full screen, not lower third, because the notes section is the full screen one. So I'm going to just make that pretty big there. And then I'm going to select linked text. And then where we want this to come from is the note section. Because remember, the note section had four lines, whereas the regular section had two. And the reason for that is so that the operator knows to follow along with the one that is displaying. So slide object. Um, that I'm looking for the notes current slide yeah it's under that notes okay and then preserve notes format should bring that in okay so now if we go back to show we're still only showing these two lines but what I can do is for an alternate output, let's say the lyrics output, I'm going to change to an alternate theme. So let's go into screens and then edit looks. And under lyrics, let's first off make sure the slides layer is selected. And then we're going to go into 4.2 and uh, that's the title of the theme I just made. And I'm going to select the theme, the individual template within that theme that I just made. So that gives me an alternate icon here. If you're on Windows, the icon looks a little different. I don't know why, but it does. Just know that the Ghostbusters means you don't do anything to it. And the whatever alternate icon you have, whether you're on Mac like me, or on Windows, then that indicates that you are using an alternate theme. So that's what we're doing right there. I'm going to click Make Live just for giggles. And now it should be the case that now we click on this. Notice it has two lines here and two lines here, but when I change over to 
lyrics, it has four lines on both slides. So since it has four lines on both slides and I don't have any crazy transitions or anything between the two, it looks like it's only one slide for the main output, where in fact it's two slides that are identical. So that's how I have uh, made this happen, is it's still two slides, but from the standpoint of the audience, they think that it's one slide. So that's how you can get a different number of outputs going to different screens in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So if that's the case, head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Register for that and you should be aut added automatically. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.